yeah Riley Stroller coming at you with a new day vlog this isn't one of those usual day vlogs because today today is national burger day so I'm fancying me some burgers actually I'm gonna go for burger crawl and go to some of my most favorite burger joints we're gonna start off with Shake Shack let's go Just on New Oxford Street, heading up to Shake Shack. It's just literally a minute away. Some of you may have seen one of my reviews for Shake Shack and not really rating it as a burger chain as a whole. And that's because mainly it's not good value for money. It's not filling. Um, in my opinion, the fries ain't great, nor, nor the drinks, but their burgers are divine. It's just that, for me, they're too small. So here we are at Shake Shack. And of course there's a massive queue, not surprised, given that it's National Burger Day. I'll just get a burger just to go and uh, keep it moving. Um, can I get a, um, a Shack Burger, double Shack Burger? Yeah. Can I get a raspberry limeade with that as well? Yeah. Right. Really busy today. Yeah, it's very busy. National oh. Burger Day. Dang. How many yeah. people? I was doing a charity for young kids in need. If you donate two pounds, you get a free shake. Can I collect the shake at a later date? Yeah. I can. Yeah. So yeah. Five, Why not? about got myself the space to sit as you can see it's extremely busy in here national burger day and that got one of these so that will buzz when the food is ready we post it okay so we can like rebound stuff so oh no you're actually that's it. nice that's nice i mean i'll i'll, I'll also because i'm quite good i'll also i'll also link it in twitter instagram yeah, and i'll amazing. hashtag i'll hashtag Yes, the place so definitely. you'll definitely know when it's up there yeah amazing but i've already got i've already got one video um, have you have you got a, what's your what's your youtube video handle um, so we can you tie it. where's my youtube app oh you don't have that app she no it app. takes up too much space on my phone but it's quicker <laughs> it's, it's it's more user friendly that's very true and also like when you're subscribed to people, it updates you. So when, when they when they post a video, you know that they've posted a video. Then you get one straight away. Yeah. So if you type Riley. How do you spell that? I L E Y. Space. S. E. R. There it is. Amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Thirty-eight thousand views. Shit. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, fun! Amazing. Yeah, just when you post it, drop us a link, and we, we like we try and regram, rehash, repost whatever we can on our own channel. Yeah. So yeah, cool. let me know. All right, definitely. Sure you What's your name? It. I'm Georgia. Georgia. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, and it's Shake Shack UK. So. Shake Shack UK. Yes. Yeah, just All right. That. Cool. Cool. Enjoy your lunch. Thanks. Sounds like one happy member of staff. Very refreshing, quite sweet. You can taste the um, the raspberry very, very strong. So here is the grand prize, my burger. Like I said, Shake Shack. For me, the only downside to them is the size of their burgers. It's quite small. Got some tomatoes in there, and you know, you know, I'm not that fond of tomatoes, but it's gonna give it a go anyway. There it goes.
honestly, is really what the tomatoes. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but I'm not removing these because it tastes really good. Very juicy. Real treat, guys. Mm. Two bites. My bird is nearly done. I'm actually glad I got this because now I need my pumpkin on the boat. Quite like that. I don't usually get that kind of reception when I'm vlogging in a space. Usually I get a lot of strange looks like, what the hell is he doing? Mm, look at that weirdo. I mean, guys, it may look normal when you're watching it on the YouTube, but trust me, when you're vlogging in real life, outside in public, people look at you like you're crazy. And it's actually hard. Sometimes I feel like I can't do it. Like there's been times when I've actually procrastinated but you know at the end of the day people are gonna look at you like a weirdo and if that's going to stop you from doing what you need to do you're never gonna you're never gonna do what you need to do you know what I'm saying like they are just preventing you from doing what you need to do but anyway that's my rant over going to burger fight which is not too far from Russell Square where we're heading now is Great Russell Street. So just in front of me is the Museum of London, very famous um, tourist attraction in London. You see it right here. It's kind of difficult me manning the camera while carrying this uh, delicious piece of beverage, but yeah. burger fight um, might have to get that shake you know that red velvet shake <sighs> that red velvet shake is the thing guys and I don't know if I can I don't know if I can resist it it's just so delicious yeah. I think it's my favorite of all the shakes I've tasted in my entire life in my entire life and I mean that's not a big bold statement because I'm not a massive shake person, so I've had shakes here and there, but I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a shake connoisseur. But having said that, I'm yet to find a place that does a better shake than Burger Fight. Honestly, their shakes are beautiful. Oh wow. Big contrast. This place is a lot less busy than Shake Shack, but I think it's the location. It's, a, it's, it's more discreet. And so, you're not going to get as many customers in here, which I quite like. Another buzzer system. Yeah, I'm hoping that it doesn't take us long to get my order. I think I wasted a lot of time at uh, Shake Shack. And Shake Shack definitely isn't filling at all. I feel like 
at best I've had like a light snack their burgers are so small delicious very juicy but they're just not filling the price for the burger by cheeseburger was $7.95 and their red velvet shape was $4.50 so slightly more expensive than um, my order at Shake Shack I think in total I spent just over £10 but that included a £2 donation so yeah definitely cheaper at Shake Shack but rightly so because their, their food really isn't filling at all I think this place might actually push me over the edge so I'm not sure whether there's going to be room for five guys guys I don't know we'll see it was a bit of a wait for the burger and I don't understand why waited nearly 10 minutes first thing I know is that the bun is cold um, and I think this is something that burger fry always do I don't think they grill their burgers I don't think they toast them rather Definitely see it's a much more meatier burger. Mm. Yeah, it's much more filling. The patties are bigger, the bun is bigger, the burger overall is bigger. Not as juicy as Shake Shack though. Shake Shack is definitely more cheap, more um, more juicy, but I prefer this as say. Mmm. Making a mess. Love is falling apart. And again I've got tomatoes in there. Even though I don't really like tomatoes. I know it's the pasta, I was able to get some jalapenos and some fresh onions in there. Which I think makes the burger more interesting, given that I'm not having any bacon in the burger. I don't know, I'm so used to having bacon in my burgers that it just seems a little bit odd. I'm gonna struggle to down another another burger but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try mm. red velvet shake is so good taken well over an hour and I'm carrying this shake and I asked the lady to give me a, a lid for this shake look it's an epic fell look what this shake's doing right now the lid is doing what it wants it's not sticking to the plan I'm making a bit of a mess it's like cream on my lens it's a joke it's an absolute joke uh, I've officially taken over an hour and I've still got one more place to knock out. 
at this rate, I don't really think I'm going to enjoy myself. I mean, Five Guys, by far, <laughs> is my favourite spot. If you watch my content regularly, you'll know that I'm always making reference to Five Guys. Even though I've only got one video on there. But anyway, I don't think I'm going to really enjoy it because I'm actually quite stuffed. Two burgers, a drink and a sh and a messy shake. Not even half finished. And I'm ready to sign out, but at the very beginning I said I was gonna do this. Five guys is just down the road. We're like two minutes away. So we're gonna do this. No cheating, I'm not getting their little cheeseburgers. I'm going to get their regular size burgers. Because I got the regular size for Shake Shack, regular size for Burger Fry. It's only right I get the regular size for five guys. Everything except for your mushrooms and your tomatoes, please. Oh, no, wait. No, mushrooms, not tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me, I'm sweating like a dog. I'm proper sweating. That brisk walk. So, first things first, paper towels. You know what? I need to go and get myself cleaned up. I'm gonna go into the toilets. But I don't know where to leave my shake. F it, YOLO, I'm gonna take the shake with me. Down the stairs. Where are the toilets? Making a real mess. Might as well do a quick toilet review. <laughs> so. I really do like the toilets in Five Guys because look at that, it's clean. And you get your own unit, your own separate unit. All right, I'm gonna put this down. Right, I've gone rid of that. The lid for the shake because it's next to impossible. Keep on, it's just getting in the way. It's getting really annoying now. Oh, I think I forgot my receipt, but anyway. I remember the number, it's all the number eight. Finally. Look at all that goodness. Alright, let's do the damn thing. So I've got everything except for mushrooms and tomatoes. Still got this 
finish. So that's me done. Finish the challenge. Bird of five, shake shack. Five guys, of course. Now, right. So if I'm to rank them from, let me not say worst to best because none of them are bad, but from weakest to strongest, I'll say Shake Shack is the weakest, followed by Burger Fire, and then finally Five Fire, Five Guys Rest on Top. If you like the video, make sure to give it a like, share the video, and of course subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to see more content like this, this isn't something that I usually do. Normally it's the normally it's the food reviews, but if you'd like to see more, I don't know, food calls or challenges, hit me up in the comments below. I make videos every single week. Occasionally travel vlogs, mainly food spots. So, until next time, peace!